Alrighty then. So, another topic that just popped up in my head. That's always actually been there. And I just, I just feel, I feel the need to rant. I feel the need to rant to you guys. Okay. So, you know how there's so many things on the news about asexuality or transsexuality or whatever that is. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. Uh, I don't know the exact terms. Um, but all these things about bisexuality, gay, homosexuality, every, all these things. And then the, the, the people on the streets, the, the, the Christians, if I call, if I should even call them that, those people giving God a bad name saying, God hates gays, God hates, God hates you for what you're doing. And it's like, no, shut your face. Okay. God does not hate them. Okay, if you were to pick up the Bible that you're thumping into people's faces and actually read it, you would see that it said God hates homosexuality, not the person. Okay? Yes, God doesn't like homosexuality. But he also says that you have free will. So who are we to tell them what to do. Yes, we can voice our disagreements with it, but we who are supposed to talk and are supposed to preach the word of God are voicing our own opinions over these people is wrong. And we're supposed to love them. This isn't love. People saying this and that and that and this about how God hates you, God hates this, you're going to go to hell. It's like, no. No. They're not going to go to hell. Okay, th for, for, for this? Are you going to go to hell for looking at somebody in a lustful way? Huh? Okay, everybody's done that. Don't lie to me. Everybody's, it says in the Bible that your freaking eye will be plucked out if you look at somebody in a lustful way. Okay, everybody's done that. Everybody. And uh, I don't see any of your eyes plucked out. So, you need, okay, Christians, I'm calling out to all of you, to realize that, yes, homosexuality is bad. But all you're doing is you're giving God a bad name. You're making God seem like a bad guy by saying, oh, this and that and that and this. You need to stop. Because God loves them. God wants you to open your arms. Okay, you're not the judge of them. You're not. What, what they do in their lives is their decision. And you're no one to tell them. You may allow, you may voice your disagreements. But you're not the judge of them. You are not their mother. You are not their father. Accept them as a person. Because that is who they are. They are a person on this planet that God created. God created all things beautiful. And he created all things for us to love them. Not to disrespect them in the ways that we have. Okay, it doesn't matter if they're trans. It doesn't matter if they're bisexual. It doesn't matter if they're homosexual. I don't care. And you guys shouldn't either. Yes, as many times as I've said it, I don't agree with homosexuality. But that is their choice. Okay, and another thing. Abortion. This is another touchy subject. So if you guys get all touchy and whatnot on me, you can leave. Because I'm honestly just voicing my opinions. Um, however, abortion. I am pro-life. But also pro-choice. Of course I want people to live. Of course I want a baby to have a chance in their life. Of course I want that. And of course the, the, the women want that too. They want, their, they want them to live. But sometimes they just can't. And that is their choice to make. 
not ours. It is not our choice. It is not our, our power to make them do what we want them to do. We can't guilt trip them. We're not freaking, we're not a freaking cult that manipulates people into doing what we want. These people have a choice. It is our belief. We strive, we pride ourselves on our belief of free will. And we are so self-centered to believe that our only concern is our own free will and we force it onto other people. It is absolutely mind-boggling how stupid some people are. How, and I know I'm being hypocritical, hypocritical in every single way, but who isn't? Fact of the matter, before I, I go all crazy and blah, blah, blah. Fact of the matter is God loves you no matter what you choose to do. And he gave you the free will to choose. So choose wisely. That goes for Christians too. We're not immune to that. <sighs> All right. I'm calm. So that was my insightful piece once again. And I feel a new one coming, so I'm going to do another one. <laughs> but I'm going to post them separately. <laughs> Alright, ciao.